Oh yeah, I get some really strange looks. Um, today I, I walked past a couple of the cleaners and uh, I said good morning and doffed my hat to them and uh, they, they said, oh, I preferred you when I was dressed as Thunderbirds. So <laughs> they, like, they like the blue outfit rather than the top hat. I think it's vital. I mean, when people see government money going into universities and uh, money going to great engineering projects and schemes, it's vital as engineers that we justify why we're spending so much public money. So we need to communicate that to the public. Well, I guess I was really more into maths and science. Uh, I loved all things numerical and loved playing around with formulae and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and science just kind of came with it, really. It really happened by accident. I was uh, at school doing maths and physics A-levels and I thought, well, I don't want to become an accountant. Uh, I might as well try engineering, not really knowing what engineering was. Uh, I did some work experience, had a summer placement with a company, uh, which went OK, and then started engineering at university and uh, it's sort of not looked back since, really. All sorts of different things, from appropriate technology, which consists of building bread ovens for developing world countries, through to composite materials, a bit of biomechanics as well. So I, I have a very varied job. I, I like the variety. I don't want to specialise at this stage of my career. Well, I believe that engineering can make a real difference, and I'm involved with a charity called Tear Fund, which seeks to bring about an end to poverty. And it ties in with my, my Christian faith that I believe that uh, we should be using what, what God's given us to make a difference. And so I'm an engineer, so I'm going to use engineering to try and end poverty. Oh, I, I love lecturing. I love, I guess there must be something of a kind of performer in all, all lecturers that I love getting up in front of a class of students and uh, deliver some material. And I love it when they learn rather than when I just teach as well. It's an exciting time of year. I've just got a new batch of undergraduates starting on all sorts of weird and wonderful projects. I've got a team looking at designing a wheelchair for use in Ghana. I've got another team looking at uh, use of small scale wind turbines in the Philippines. So I've got, it's a stage of year, the year where I'm really optimistic about all these projects. I've got another student looking at recycling carpet. One's looking at making furniture out of cardboard and it's, uh, it's the kind of optimistic stage. I think pretty much it's, it, as you move into lecturing it's, you, become, you become almost like a manager so I do feel sort of one step removed from the research sometimes so and increasingly you're dependent on your postgrads and your postdocs and the undergrads to a certain extent to, to carry out your vision and to see whether your ideas are workable. I hope to develop uh, the lectures over the next year or so. I've been taking some evening courses in uh, drama for beginners and acting for beginners. So I'm hoping to involve more theatrical uh, moments in, into lectures. So I've got plans to dress up as a cowboy and uh, to maybe dress up as a few mathematicians from the past as well to spice up some lectures. I think a great result would be to set up something that lives beyond my time here at Nottingham, the, an institute for looking at uh, the development of appropriate technologies for developing world applications would be a really good achievement. <laughs> stereotypical engineer. I guess if you look at the media, the stereotypical engineer would be someone in a boiler suit, uh, greasy and oily, and uh, you know, covered, covered in all sorts of grime, um, working on some heavy machinery. And uh, well, maybe sometimes I look a bit grimy, but uh, not today. Uh, I lived in Nottingham for about 14 years now, married um, to Elaine, got two boys, Archie and Harry, who are nine and six, who uh, are very good kind of uh, engineers at taking things apart. They haven't quite got to the putting things back together stage yet. So that's a challenge. Um, my Christian faith makes a big difference to what I, what I work on and uh, the ethics I bring into university. Uh, so I'm a member of a local, local church here in Nottingham. Well, I guess I grew up thinking that I'd be a school teacher. 
um, maybe looking a bit grander, well, why not, uh, why not a life on the stage? <laughs>